Hey guys, George from Melbourne Mobile Detailing. The BMW E36 that was an impulse buy from eBay. Uh, it's it's black. It's got a few few uh, issues with it. Um, as you can see, we're just going to go around the car, see what's going on. I mean, there's heaps and heaps of scratches. I mean, I'm not too sure if they'll pick it up on the camera, but kind of filthy as well. Kind of in an original state, so that's good. Uh, I mean, some of these issues are pretty bad, but I'm not too sure if you can pick it up on the camera. Heaps of spider webs. I mean, it's been sitting around for ages, just outside. Overall, not too bad. I think it'll clean up quite nice. Uh, all the electronics seem to work. Open up a few things now, see how everything's looking. Uh, as I said, all the electronics seem to work except for the rear door. <laughs> the central lucky and standard the door handle stays open. So let's have a look at this. Interior seems to be okay. A lot of uh, receipts and books, as you probably get with uh, BMWs, a lot of errors and stuff like that. Or people complain about issues with them, uh, especially the E36 models. As I mentioned, the weather seems in pretty good nick. I mean, the car's got about 200,000 kilometers on it, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I reckon we can uh, get this looking pretty good. I mean, I've got two years to get it looking nice, uh, and hopefully, I can get it on club registration. Let's pop the bonnet. Oh. Okay, I'll just we'll check. Oh, okay, so it's got it's got 252,000 kilometers on it, so it's it's not its mileage. I mean, it's a 318i, so it's what is it? The 1.9 liter engines, good old four cylinders. So we'll see what's going under the hood. Don't even know how to pop the bonnet on these things. <laughs> So let's just have a look. Oh, there it is. Wow. All right. We're in a very dirty state. As you can see, heaps of dirt in there. Just oil, oxidization, overheating, possibly even. I reckon we can look and get this looking pretty nice. I mean, it's it's dirty, it's it's filthy. Don't get me wrong, uh, but yeah. But at least it's going to be an interesting video of before and afters. That's for sure. Everything seems to be intact. Uh, I'll be honest, it drives really, really well. Seems to have had you know, been to the records a few times. I mean, they're not record parts or numbers. Nothing's really missing from it. I mean, once it cleans up and becomes really shiny, and even the sunroof works, which is quite impressive. I mean, some of these rubber seals are starting to crack out, so I might need to replace a few of those. I mean, I'm not too sure. Yeah, definitely on the rear window. Even these badges. I mean, just the little things. I mean, once it cleans up, change a few badges around. It looks like something from a door. Kind of strange, not too sure what that is. Oh, cool. Seems like the previous owner might have been somewhat of a uh, weekend warrior detailer. <laughs> I mean, they've got they've got some leather wipes and so forth. So that's not really liquid cleaner. Hydrating cream. I mean, that's pretty good stuff for Oakwood. Not too bad for a DIY range. Heaps of replacement globes and fuses in there. I'll be honest with you guys, uh, for the price that I paid, this is a brush in there as well, awesome. And a detail doctor, I've never used it before, but if we're going to give it a shot, see how that goes. And I'll do it, probably write a review about it as well, seems like a popular product, um, especially the Oakwood stuff, but yeah, kind of interesting. For the price that I paid, not too bad, not too bad at all. Uh, so yeah, how much am I going to spend on it, that's another question, and if I can get it on club plates. Uh, Kids, but it looks looks okay. Looks in contact.
So as I was saying, yeah, once we clean it up and make everything look a bit more cleaner, all the parts are there. Uh, I think just cleaning it will be pretty impressive. I mean, some of these areas might even might even wrap. I mean, that boot is pretty horrific, and it, and it feels like just filth. <laughs> uh, feels really rough. So what we're going to do is some of these panels. I mean. Uh, not too sure actually, we'll see what happens when it cleans up. We might even wrap the car, we might just paint correct it, see how it goes. I mean, we've got a bit of a damage here. I'll try and repair and hopefully get that on video as well. Uh, so it looks like somebody might have kicked it or knocked it in somehow. Other than that, it's pretty damn straight and it's looking, considering all the defects, it's looking pretty shiny, which is cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a miracle worker, but I reckon I can get some of these. If I can get it, if it's shiny already, I can get it a bit more shinier. Uh, there's a bit of a thin here, a bit of a paint chip as well. I mean, we can do a bit of touch-ups there. It's going to get too deep, so definitely need a touch-up. Might get the, figure out where the paint coat is, get some touch-up paint ordered. I mean, if it doesn't work out, as I was saying, worst case scenario, we can always go to, to wrapping it, uh, possibly in the same colour black. I mean, some of these bird etchings actually going right through, and it's pretty bad on the sunroof as well. I mean, it's bad over the whole bonnet, any, all the top surfaces really. Let me just have a look at the sunroof. Yeah, so it's working, which is good. Nice steam cleaner of the roof will come up right as well. Let's have a look at the roof, guys. Oh, yeah, not too sure if you can see that on camera, but yeah, it's gone too far. It's yeah, it's gone it's way too far. I mean, the bird, the bird piece actually has to edge through the creeker, so it's either going to get uh, the only way to really repair that is by sanding it back and respraying it, which is, I think, a lot more trouble than it's worth, or just the film wrap, just the black wrap, which will do wonders, to be honest with you. But then again, if I'm going to wrap one section, I might as well wrap the whole vehicle, so... Anyway, after we clean up, we'll definitely look into that. Peace out, guys, for now, and, uh... Yeah, definitely watch us through the restoration of the BMW E36 318i. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching, guys.